Time for the big one then. The Grand National. It's a Grade 3 handicap, four miles, three and a half furlongs over the Aintree Track, the famous Grand National fences. We've only got a field of 20 this year. We still should be looking forward to an exciting spectacle. We've got two at the top for Leon Van Rensburg, Malon Raider and Fire Memorial. Lawn Murph or Darren Thompson, they're the only three in the handicap proper. Southside, Kevin Minahan, Castle Donington, Darren Thompson, Pride of America, Paul Rhodes, Zami Thinkar, last year's third for Graham Clutterbuck, Captain Mannerin, Martin Leader, Myronic, Harold, Paul Graham Clutterbuck, Artisan Sundan, and Stravita Field for the informed David Robertson, Tintzin, Farrell, Padraig Hogan, Woodland Venture, David Hooney, Blanche Nez, Alex Cherry, Sean Willow, be one Blue Penny, last year's winner for Martin Leadham, Moon She, Stu Gray, the Pure Garlic, Padraig Hogan, De Banshaman, Alex Cherry, and Gran Torino, Paul Rhodes. He's called them in, he's let them go. And they're racing off towards the first of the 30 famous fences then in this Grand National and Tintin Fire was one of the first to show Gran Torino and Sean Will up there as well but now being pushed up for the lead is Sean Will and Sean Will looks to be the one that's going to take it up right wide over on the far side of the track also going well at the moment is last year's winner Blue Penny Captain Mannerin's also up there as well he's then completing the long run to the first of the 30 fences then and Sean Will is going to be the one to take them over the first in the lead Sean Will comes to it in the lead then gets over it nicely the field come over it they're all over it safely they've all jumped the first Artie's and Sundown just the back marker but it's Sean Will then leading them into the second Sean Will gets over the second in the lead the rest of them following suit another mistake at the back there by Artisan Sundown it doesn't look as though he's taken to these fences at all but it's Sean Will in front from Captain Mannering on the far side and then Gran Torino down this side Blanche uh, Tintin Fire is there Blanche Nesh Fire Memorial as well then comes South Side and ironic Harold Castle Donington is after that one last year's winner Blue Penny is only three from the back with Artisan Sundown still the back marker as they take the fourth and Captain Mannering made a mistake and there's a faller at the back Woodland Ventures gone so Woodland Venture the first one to depart the race this year then at fence number four they're coming down there to the one before Beaches and Sean Willis setting the pace for Obi-Wan gets over it nicely in the lead the field follows suit they're all over it behind him with Tinsy and Fyrell second and then comes Blanche Nesh and Grant Serena and they're coming down there towards Beaches Brook for the first time and Shaw Will cuts into the inside to take the fence at its biggest point, the biggest drop on this side of course, over it they go, and they all look like they're over it this time, there's a forward at the back Blanche Neige is gone, so Blanche Neige is down at Beaches, the rest of them over it okay as they head towards Foynhaven then for the first time and it's Shaw Will who's going to get over it in the liberty, made a dreadful mistake there, Shaw Will smallest fence on the course by the water jump and he very nearly went and Shaw Will is still in the lead from Tintin Farrell in second, then Gran Torino, then Captain Mannery, then comes Fire Memorial and Southside and Ironic Harold as they make their way towards the canal turn. And Sean Will leads them over the canal. The Grand National Field over it. South side. The grey was down on his nose. Just the one grey then in the National. But it's Sean Will who's still the leader coming down towards Valentine's Brook. Sean Will's in the lead from Gran Torino and Tintin Fyrell. Then Captain Mannerin's next hand. There's a few fallers there. There's a lot gone. Zami Thinkar's gone. South side's gone. Fire Memorial and Manon Raider's gone. Both of the favourites are out. And the top two are out of the National. As they go over the next. And drama here as another one's down. There's another one gone artisan sundown one at the back Gran Torino's gone south side's gone it's mayhem and sure will is six lengths clear as they come to the 11th then and they pop over the 11th and let's have a little bit of a run down and see what's left in this race as sure will is left in the lead more fallers this year than ever when we won a smaller field and sure will is going to lead them into the 12th Sure Will's over in the lead, mistake there by Tintin Fyrell, so it's Sure Will in the lead for Obi-Wan, then Pride of America by Paul Rhodes is second, Tintin Fyrell is third for Padraig Ogan, then comes last year's winner Blue Penny, close up this year in fourth for Martin Lee alongside Stable 8 Captain Mannerin, then Castle Donington for Darren Thompson, Moon She is after that for Stu Gray, then Deban Shaman for Alex Cherry, the Pill Garlic is next, for Padraig Hogan, then Ironic Harold for Graham Clutterbuck, Lawn Mower for Darren Thompson, and a little bit detached at the back, Stravita Field for David Robertson, they're the only ones left in the race, the David Hooley horse has gone, the both of the Leon Van Redsburg horses have gone, 
and last year's third has gone. So some of the big players crash down at the same fence and they get to the 13th. That will be the second last next time round and the remainder get over it okay and sure will is five lengths clear of Pride of America in the National. From Tins in final in third, Blue Penny is in fourth, Captain Manor in fifth, Moonshe sixth, then comes a Pill Garlic, Castle Donington. This will be the last next time round but how many of them will still be standing next time round? And they're all over that one then and then now coming towards the chair. So they're racing towards the chair then now with a complete circuit ahead of them still after the chair in the water and there's been absolute mayhem in the first circuit with no more than eight fallers, no less than eight fallers as they get over the chair then they all stream over the chair they're all over it nicely now they've all got plenty of room they can see the fences nicely so there's no excuses really for traffic problems as they come down to the water then sure will leads a national field from pride of america in second tints in fire is third and moonshee is fourth blue penny is five cats in manor is six the bill garlic is seven ironic Howard is eight castle donington is nine lawnmower is ten de Bunchaman is eleven and stravita field is twelfth and last and they are the the only ones who are going out on the second circuit. Twelve of the original twenty then are going out for the second circuit in the Grand National and Sean Will for Obi-Wan is setting a tremendous gallop which is surely leading to the mistakes and still the gasps in the stand for the sight of both of the favourites. The two Leon Van Rensburg horses crashing out at the same fence and Sean Will is in the lead and all of these horses racing now are on level weights. They're all racing off the same weight as they come down towards the next, with the exception of Lawmire, who's got a little bit more weight than the rest of them. But it's sure well who's in the lead then from Pride of America in second. Captain Mannering on the inside is third. Then Moon Shears, they get over the 18th. And they're all over the 18th, although there was a mistake towards the back there by Ironic Harold. And sure will will lead them into this next fence. It's the big ditch that's coming up next. And they're all safely over that one then with Sean Will still in front. Moon She has crept through nicely into second. Pride of America still going well on the inside third. Captain Manor in his next. Then Tints in final with the Pill Garlic and Blue Penny as they get over the 20th. They're all safely over that one. Bit of a mistake again by Stravita Field. And Sean Will's lead is down to two lengths as they come to the one before Beaches for the final time. And Sean Will two lengths clear of Moon She in second. Pride of America and Captain Manor in next. Then comes the Pill Garlic and Lorma and Blue Penny and Castle Donington then a bit of a gap to the back three of Stravita Field the Bansherman and Ironic Harold as they come down to Beaches Brook for the final time and it's Shaw Will who's got the lead Shaw Will from Captain Manor in over Beaches Brook they all get over Beaches okay everybody's jumped it fine this time in the field I'm beginning to bunch there's a bunch of about six seven or eight of them who are going well at the front and it's Shaw Will and Captain Manor in disputing the lead Tints in fire looks to be going well as they get over the Foyne Haven fence and they're all over that one okay and making their way down towards the canal turn then with Captain Manor in poking his head in front Captain Manor in from Shaw Will in second Tints in fire is third, Lawnmower is four, then Blue Penny is five, then comes Moonshee and Pride of America, and the Pill Garlic and Stravita field as they take the canal. And they're all over that one, okay, although the Pill Garlic was a little bit untidy. And Captain Mannering and Shaw will dispute the lead from Tints in Fire and Blue Penny back in fourth. Then comes Moonshee and Lawmore as they go for Valentine's for the final time. And it's Shaw will still just about hanging on to that lead. Shaw will from Captain Mannering. Then comes Tints in Fire and Moonshee. Blue Penny is next as they get over the 26th. And they're all safely over that one, although at the back, Ironic Howard is starting to struggle and Pride of America has lost his place. They're coming out of the fourth last in the National. And it's Captain Captain Manor in Shawwell and Tints in Fire. All these three are going clear of Stravita Field, Blue Penny, Moonshee, and the Pill Garlic who's trying to run on again. Then Lorma, but Captain Manor in's hit the front with three to jump. Captain Manor in from on the inside, Shawwell. On the outside, Tints in Fire. All over that one, they go. Good jump there by the Pill Garlic and Stravita Field, and suddenly it's a bunch of five now who have pulled clear. So the five of them then now racing down towards the final three fences in the National. The Pill Garlic is in the lead. The Pill Garlic's come through to take it from Stravita Field. Then Tins in fire or Captain Manor is after that one. Then sure will Blue Penny's last year's winner is running on. There's only two more fences to take then now. And the Pill Garlic and Stravita Field, it's David Robertson. The man of the moment takes the lead in the National. David Robertson from the Pill Garlic. Tins in fire or Blue Penny last year's winner is running on again. Captain Manor looks beaten so does 
Michelle Will, so does Moon She. It's Stravita Field for David Robertson. Two to jump. David Robertson, Stravita Field comes down towards the second last. Clearing the lead, jumps it nicely over it in second. Was the Pill Garlic a fallen there though? A fallen, the Pill Garlic's gone. Tints in four is in second. Blue Penny's third. Longmire fourth. Empty Bancherman. One more to jump in the national. And it's Stravita Field who's six lengths clear for David Robertson. Stravita Field. Pops the last, gets over it nicely, over it in second, is Tins in four, a blue pen is in third, then Lawmar back in fourth, after that one did bunch of man, but they're racing down towards the elbow, and Stravita Field is six lengths clear, what a week it's been for David Robertson, what a fortnight, what a way to cap it, it's Stravita Field clearing the lead, Stravita Field is going to win the national, half a furlong to go, and Stravita Field is well clear, and Stravita Field races up towards the line and takes the Grand National back to Scotland, Stravita Field wins it, Tins in fire on his second, Longmire third, Blue Penny four to Anshaban five, then Castle Donington Shaw with Moonshi, Captain Mannery, Pride of America and finally Ironic Harold and that's all the finishers in an action packed Grand National which, well, David Robertson you might have known the way he's been going, who else was going to win this race? David Robertson, <laughs> what a Cheltenham, what a Liverpool he's having, and he's cleaning up on the flat as well, and a very, very good victory, but absolute mayhem in the first circuit, and Stravita Field takes it, Blue Penny last year's winner run on well to be fourth, and was always in contention, so I think that puts to bed any of the thoughts of last year being a fluke, but Stravita Field is a well deserve winner for David Robertson Stravita Field for David Robertson wins the national on tints in fire for Padraig Hogan a brave second lawnmower Darren Thompson the only one in the handicap to finish Blue Penny for Martin Little last year's winner was fourth the Bancherman for Alex Cherry was fifth then going down the list Castle Donington for Darren Thompson ran a good six Sean Will for Obi-Wan surely set the race up and made it so exciting by going off at such a pace Moonshe for Stu Gray was there for a long time. So too was Pride of America for Paul Rhodes. Captain Manor in likewise. Those three obviously failed to stay. Ironic Harold didn't get into it. The Pill Garlic looked as though it could well throw down a charge to win at one point until it unseated his rider at the second last. Wooden Adventure was the first to go at the fourth. It was the ninth where the mayhem happened. Zami Thinkar, Southside, Malon Raider, Fire Memorial, and Artisan Sundown all going at the same fence. And what a thrilling and exciting national that was. We thought with just 20 runners it might be a little bit of a letdown, but it certainly wasn't. And Stravita Field has taken it for the man of the moment, David Robertson. He could win on a donkey, couldn't he?